Yes, yes, woo! This XPS 13 Tool one with the Ice Lake CPUs has just blown away a desktop. Woo! So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck, come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code. Woof, it's Windows Pro time. Yes, yes, I saw it, I saw it, I did not believe it. <laughs> Amazing, yes, and I had to actually go to my desktop, install Premiere Pro and, you know, on a system that had, you know, six cores, five gigahertz, overclocked, RTX 2070 Super, and yes, I did enable Intel HD, and I hardware encoded, and this XPS 13 2-in-1 just beat it. It actually beat every single laptop I've tested. Of course, you need the GPU to do it. I used the Radeon 7 with this. Stay tuned for my content creation view. That's going to come out very soon. But the only way this makes sense in my head is the new Iris graphics. That hardware encoding just makes a difference. You know, adding, you know, the GPU, CPU and the new Iris graphics together just makes it hammer. So watch it. You're going to see it in real time. You're not going to believe it. Woof. XPS 13, Ice Lake, baby. Right, are you ready to be blown away by Ice Ice Baby XPS 13 2-in-1? And what you need to know about the XPS 2-in-1 is it does have the 10th generation Ice Lake. And what you need to know about that is Thunderbolt 3 is built into the CPU, same with Wi-Fi 6. Now, so far with my testing, being built into the CPU hasn't really translated into, you know, removing that bottleneck. But it has to do something with the latency. It's got to be much faster in terms of latency just because it's going through the CPU. It's not going through a discrete chipset. So it's going to have better latency. Now, it still is early days. So maybe the benefits will come in the future. Certainly, I haven't tested it in terms of gaming. It hasn't been that much difference. The bottleneck's sort of still the same. 1% lows you're probably going to get better because um, you know the latency is decreased so anyway let me set the scene here if we have a look in the middle where it says UV HE UV HE HE just means hardware encoding so we're going to do a hardware encode because that is the fastest and I did update the max one because it's updated to Catalina and also they've done some metal work and yeah the max are even getting faster again but on the right hand side is the software encoding. So this is all the software encoding on the right that uses some of the GPU, but mostly the CPU. And that does give you a better result. But hardware encoding is the fastest. And pretty much everybody that does YouTube and stuff, they just use hardware encoding. It's just faster and the difference isn't that much. If we have a look at these scores here, they're not too dissimilar. No? They're three, four minutes, all the hardware encoding, right? So it doesn't matter how powerful the, you know, the laptop is. It's three, four minutes because it is using Intel HD, you know, heavily. Now, the Intel HD or the Iris Plus graphics on this Ice Lake XPS 13 have been updated. So it's supposed to be twice as fast and it's improved the HEVC encoding and the H.264 encoding. I don't know if they've done anything with that, but this is H.264. I think they probably have because it's just smokingly fast. And um, yeah, just having the eGPU or the Thunderbolt 3 going through the CPU it's going to make a difference because you're going to see something that you won't believe and I've connected an eGPU to an XPS 15 okay and it got 3 minutes 23 with the eGPU so um, we're talking RTX 2080 and it was you know 323 so this is a Radeon 7 so the RTX 2080 is more powerful so let's see how fast this renders out this project hardware encoding and i'll show you it is connected to the radeon 7. you'll see down there it says radeon 7 okay now even though hardware encoding does use the intel hd some numnut commented on one of my videos saying oh well of course they're all the same because i said the macbook pro with an eGPU was faster than the desktop with 9900k and a 2080 ti which it was right when you connect the eGPU, this project it rendered it faster than a full desktop and one guy commented oh that's just because it's intel hd of course it's the same or faster you know there's no difference it's just using intel hd well you'll see that it's not right because it does use intel hd but it does use the gpu as well it uses a lot of the gpu in this so let's get on with it 
and you're just going to be blown away by the speed so if i just go here first things first we just go to project settings and you'll see that it is indeed using OpenCL. So we're using OpenCL because we're using AMD Radeon 7 graphics card. So we're going to export this. Um, we'll export media. And we'll go here. It's on the 4K preset. So I'll just change it to make sure that, you know, some of the settings haven't been left over from the last render. And what you'll see here, it's 4K preset YouTube and we're going to leave it hardware encoding here. Now you can use software. Software encoding will give you a better result, but it takes longer. It uses more CPU. It does use some of the GPU. It doesn't really use the Intel HD. When you use hardware encoding, it's fast. And, you know, Final Cut have been doing this for years, you know, using the Intel HD Quick Sync. But this one's a bit better. It actually uses the GPU as well. So we'll export that. Uh, let's go boom and we'll go to there and we've lost a couple of seconds big deal I'm not worried about a couple of seconds and we'll bring up this here all right so get ready to be blown away so you seen it was three three and a half to four minutes with the other laptops and by the way if you put an external GPU so like an RTX 2080 Ti or RTX 2070, whatever, on like a Gigabyte Aero or anything with a RTX 2070, 2080 in it, it's not faster with an eGPU because of the bottleneck. The actual, you know, it's actually faster with just the onboard graphics. So connecting an eGPU to those type of laptops, the gaming ones that have RTX 2070, 2080, forget about it because the eGPU will actually be slower or, you know, very similar. So there's no point connecting an eGPU to those. So XPS 15, you're going to get a boost. Something that doesn't have like really powerful graphics, you'll get a boost with an eGPU. But have a look at this. Have a look how hard it's slamming that Radeon 7. Look at it. It's slamming it. I can hear it. The eGPU's gone nuts. 94% Radeon 7. It's hitting the, um, the Intel as well. And look how fast it is. So I'm going to have to test this on the XPS 15 again. I don't know if they sneaked in a little update, but I don't remember it ever happening with any, like even with the Mac or anything. Like it's slamming this Radeon 7 and loves this OpenCL. And maybe it's just Ice Lake, you know, being the Thunderbolt 3 going through to the CPU directly. It's just yeah this is just going to blow away you can already see it's going to blow away three minutes or three and a half minutes let's go back to that oh actually this is actually memory restrictive there so if you have a look here we're reaching the maximum amount of memory it's actually would be faster if i closed photoshop i should have closed photoshop and but as you can see here look 345 323 359 four minutes okay now I should have closed Photoshop, I'm an idiot, but let's go back to that um, that benchmark here, or the time, and you can see now, look, it's going to hit 100%, look, it's not even going to hit three minutes, okay, so you see, I don't know if it's the ice lake, I'm going to have to test this on other laptops, so I'll untest the Radeon 7, because maybe the Radeon 7 drivers are just killing it now, OpenCL, and if we just, it's reached 100%, it's going to be less than three minutes. Actually, I timed it less than this before. I'll show you the screenshot. Why is it sitting on 99 for a long time? I have no idea. That's a bit weird. But anyway, it's less than three minutes. But I had Photoshop open and I know that it was hitting the memory limit there, okay? So if you've got 32 gigs, it even goes faster. I know that for a fact. I've done this test that many times, and if I go to the screen capture of, where is it, the Radeon 7 before when I didn't have Photoshop open, and there you go. So this is when I didn't have Photoshop open, so I had a couple of extra gigabytes of memory, and two minutes and 37 seconds. So yeah, ice ice baby. Um, I'm gonna test this on my Dell now. Um, that's, that's amazing that you know i've got a you know a thin and light laptop here and boom it's killing all these here that is amazing 
like it's even a quad core. Obviously, the Intel HD plus that Radeon 7 it just must be the magic combo. So, yeah, interesting times that I can do that. Look here, XPS 15 with a 2080 Ti, 3 minutes 23. Yeah, wow. Eye size baby.